Welcome to Georgia Tech. Welcome to Georgia Tech football. So glad you guys are a part of this family. Um, what I'm going to do real quick, we're going to have some intros. Uh, Coach Pat Node, why don't you start us off, bud? Excited about what's going on. Really excited about the future. Um, just make sure that you guys are working as hard as you possibly can and be ready to go when your number's call. Y'all brought here for a reason. Y'all brought here to get this place back to what we know it will be. Not can be, will be. Okay? And all of y'all are in different positions on this offense. All right, and the one bit of advice I'll give you guys is, is I don't think you guys understand what it is to be a tech man until you're a tech man. And all you guys now are on your path to becoming tech men. And this circle we have and this, this family we have of tech men, is, it, it's tight, guys. It's very tight. Do what you're supposed to do. Do it the right way. Do it as hard as you can with as much effort and enthusiasm as you can while you're here, all right, over the next three, four, five years, all right, and great, great, great things are on the other side. It's your first meeting with all your guys. It's gonna be a long road ahead. The journey will be long, but never forget where you started from. I said, it's gonna be funny to see how everything ends. So y'all just make sure when y'all get in here, y'all make sure y'all do everything full speed, full speed ahead. If you wanna be successful here, you're gonna stack plays. So you're gonna do your job. And when you stack plays, you're gonna stack days. And the more guys we can get to buy into that philosophy, buy into our mission, we're gonna have a lot of success here. And it's great to see everybody on this call. Uh, glad to have you all in the family. And I use that word family because I really mean it. The one reason I'm in the coaching is because of the impact that we can have on you guys' lives. And you have to understand that every man that's on this call is gonna be involved in your life for the next four to five years. And actually the next 40 to 50 years because we are family, all right? So make sure you engulf yourself in this. This brand of ball that we play, this brand that we carry every single day is unlike anything you've ever experienced. So excited to see you guys. Um, unprecedented times being able to, uh, or having to do this and not seeing you face to face and have that inter interaction. But uh, shame on me if I don't have a personal relationship with all you guys, you know all you guys pretty well. And uh, man, just uh, so excited to, to get started. So glad you guys are, are part of the family. It's a outstanding group of men that you guys are joining and ladies that we have in our in our um, in our group here i'm blessed to work with outstanding men every day outstanding players every day and just so glad you guys are here uh, to continue to add on to what we're trying to accomplish we're just taking over college football which is happening soon um, i'm very excited i'm happy that although we didn't get to do this the way that we would like to and the way that we're used to doing it we still get opportunity to do it and, and have an opportunity to just talk with y'all and, and let y'all know our ways and how we're gonna expect you guys to conduct yourselves as now that you, you, the logo never comes off and now you are a part of this program. You guys are our first class. You're the foundation. So in the next two to three seasons, our success is gonna be hinged upon you cats, the culture. Y'all see this, what we do, baby, it's all about the effort. I, I would be remiss uh, if I didn't bring up Bryce Gowdy right now, uh, Simba. Um, he, he would be here with us right now. It still hurts to this day, um, knowing that he would be in our shoes and he would be here with us. And let's just make sure this signing class, we're carrying him with us the whole way through, okay? So just stay together, uh, keep his memory alive, his legacy. We're doing things internally that are really special to help his family. Here's so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it around. I'll call you out. Um, Spires, I'm gonna start with you, so just go ahead where you're from, what position, what high school, and just kind of what you've been doing over the last month getting ready uh, to transition into here. I play O-line and um, just been following Coach Lou's workouts every single day. Because I mean, in the end, if you do those workouts religiously, you, you'll be ready to play once you get up there. You'll get better. And every day is a challenge, but if you use everything that's given to you, it just makes it easier. Kirk Gleason, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Uh, I play quarterback. I went to Plant High School. And then just recently, I've really been trying to hit the running hard. Uh, I mean, that was the biggest thing when I first got up there in January was I was out of shape and I wasn't ready to run at the collegiate level. So that's the big thing I've been trying to do recently is just get my conditioning level where it needs to be. Um, over the past month, I've been just staying in shape and learning everything I can because at my position, you got to be like smart, smart. So just learning and learning the offense and learning defense is, is the biggest thing for me. I'm from Gainesville, Georgia. I played with I played for Gainesville High School, and probably one of my biggest things I'm gonna have to agree with Tucker with the conditioning and running to translate to the college level. I came in not that ready, but 
during this time with like the coronavirus and stuff, I've just been running at my high school and everything. Join to get in better shape, so I'll be ready to go when I get back. Nah, but I went to Buford High School. I played DB. Um, and these last, you know, these last few months, I went on Coach Lou workout program, uh, working out six days a week. Uh, just getting bigger, faster, stronger. Trying to stay in shape, and I'm ready to get back. Came in, my first weigh-in, I weighed 164. And now I weigh 191 right now. So. Yeah. 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 yeah! Every single day with a chip on his shoulder, with an edge, and that's what it's gonna take. He didn't worry about nobody's feelings. He didn't worry about stepping on toes. He just came in and worked. Look, fellas, I'm here and I'm gonna play. And you're not gonna stop me from playing. And if I gotta gain 30 pounds to play, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm from Savannah, Georgia, and I went to Jenkins High School. Um, I've been really just working, working on my footwork, moving with the weight I'm at now, trying to get quicker, faster, then more. And uh, with Coach Lou, uh, workouts and conditioning, you know, it's kept me in, stick, in shape. Hey everybody, uh, my name's Avery Boyd. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. I went to Gobby High School. So this last month, I've just been working out and trying to learn defenses and offenses. Because I play receiver, but I just started playing football. So y'all be saying stuff, and I'll be like, hey, <laughs> So like, I gotta like learn everything and catch up. So that's what I've been trying to do. What's up y'all? My name is Wayne Green from Lee County, Georgia. I went to Lee County High School. I play offensive line. Recently, I've just been working out and trying to add on weight and get better with my technique as an offensive lineman. Hey everybody, uh, it's Paul Dalton, my here. Uh, I live in Trinity, Texas, and I play high school football at Trinity View High School. Uh, I've been following my workouts with, uh, with my trainer and I've been uh, and I do uh, off the line uh, drills with him, and he brings in his. Uh, he was a former NFL, but he plays in the CFR right now. So I just been, been following up with him. With those, so. I'm from Dalton, Georgia. I play at Dalton High School. Last last month, I've been working out, on Christmas workouts, and going to this field, this local field we go to called Lakeshore, doing drills, running routes with one of my friends. He goes to the Northwestern team, so I've been working. Billy Ward. I played at Locust Grove High School. I uh, live in Locust Grove and I'm a uh, tight end. And uh, obviously I've been doing what I need to do physically to get ready, but also getting with uh, some of the old, older tight ends to uh, learn the playbook a little bit and get ready up here, so. What's up everybody? Uh, I'm Ryan King. I played at Grace High School. I've been trying to get healthy, go to therapy. And follow because lose. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, my name is Nate McCullough. Uh, I went to Dutchtown High School, played slot receiver. And in these past few months, uh, I just been working out, working on my craft, and uh, mostly trying to learn the playbook. Mostly, that's what I've been trying to do. What's up, Coach? Uh, Jared here uh, from Swanee, Georgia. I thought I was working, getting ready. Uh, I'm training with Coach Chuck, uh, getting ready to go. I play uh, DN. Sir, and I know he doesn't look like it on the screen, but he is, he's 6'5", and uh, says he's got uh, hoop games. We'll, we'll see that when we get here in person, in live, action. I want to talk That's All-State Talent, Coach. That's All-State Talent, <laughs> Coach. I'm from South South Carolina. I'm a defensive end from Fort Dorchester. I've been uh, getting workout schedules from Marco. I've been using that along with my uh, my own technique to help me improve my weaknesses so I can be better and ready to come with y'all at school. And um, I'm originally from Michigan, but I went to high school out here in Riverwood and Sandy Springs. And I ain't with a chip like everybody else, but we did pretty good for ourselves. And uh, I've been working out, trying to get bigger, stronger, and faster. I'm excited to get downtown. I'm Uncle Tavion here, from, originally from Hunt County. I'm American Georgia, but I moved to seventh grade to Creasa High School. Um, Creasa had a good foundation, but then when it comes to football coaches, it's a firm program, but we never got a championship. Uh, lately, I've been working, working with time management because I know when I get to um, college, I'm going to have to get up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Get you to the life of being a college student, and I've been working out with my coach and some of my friends from my um, former high school. Other than that, I'm just ready to roll, turn the program back to run with Houston. Listen, I'm from Atlanta. Um, I went to the University of Creekside with Katavian. Um, I just been working out, working out, trying to get big, trying to get my weight up, 
and uh, yeah, that's really it. Ready to get there and start working. All right, so my name's Kaya. Um, I live in Richmond Heights, Miami, Florida. I'm to a school called South Miami. And our school is not a big school. You know, we don't get no kids that's like actually playing football or whatever, but we got to make do what we got to do. Uh, competition's competition. Uh, I've been working at um, a girl's house. She got a little weight set. I've been trying to do everything I can. Lifting, lifting as much as I can. Get bigger. I was running from 205 and now I weigh 220. Yeah. Now y'all ready to get out there and get bigger. And what do you play? I play outside linebacker D and anything you need me to. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's the answer, baby. Thing. I was setting you up on that one. I was Brooks uh, from Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. Went to Trinity Christian Academy. Won one state championship. And then, like Jalen said, Coach Lou's workout has been keeping me in shape, keeping me strong, keeping me fast. And I'm ready to get on campus with you boys so we can be great.